nobody fucking with me, nigga. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Cause I got on. Welcome back, Best Uni Crew. It's your girl. Today, I'm going to attempt to make me a car tag using this metal, what is this, like a metal plate situation. I believe it's supposed to go in the front. We got plastic on the front. Okay. And, um... Okay, okay, okay. I want to attempt to make a metal plate using this right here. Um, I want to attempt to sublimate using the laminating paper and uh, vinyl. I got this vinyl from Michaels, I think. Yeah, this is the Oracle brand, but I'm used to seeing people use the matte, and this is the gloves. This is all I can find. And I got me a sheet of laminated paper. But you can find at any store, Walmart, um, all of the places or whatever. And this is the kind that you just put through the heat machine. If y'all watched the last video, I messed up one. But anyway, laminated paper, car tag, and vinyl. So I just got to find an image of my choice. But before I do that, I'm going to prep it. And all I'm going to do is... Put the vinyl on top of my tag and see where it fit and I'm just gonna cut a piece off pretty much I'll just flip it over like this and I'm just gonna cut cut a little past what I need because you know your girl you're trying to eyeball stuff and then I have it all cricket so I'm just cut a little past where I would have stopped that if I was cutting it even that way when I get it on there, I can go back and cut, cut. So, so far, I just got it like this. And I'm just going to lay the vinyl down on top. Hopefully, I don't get no air bubbles or nothing. Play with and a lot of y'all probably look like why do that why not buy sublimation um blanks because i already had these so i just want to see like can i make my own sublimation blanks you already know how i am i just like to try stuff see i get y'all a little more light did that help any i hope so so uh that's the only reason why i'm doing it like this because i mean i just want to see we can do it on wood, right? So, I was wondering, can we do it on this? And then at first, I was going to try it on a white plastic. I still might. You never know. But I know it's going to melt. Like, it ain't going to melt, but it'll bend. Because it's plastic. But, it's the only one way to find out. So it can't be a chicken shit. Okay. First scenario problem I'm running across is that cut part, that part at the top. I want to do it just with uh, the mirror look, but it's just going to look weird to me. If I get it good, then it's always something else. God, it's always missing something. If I get it down just where I wanted it. One side ain't close. Stuff when they do it with vinyl, but I ain't got time. I just want to see. Not perfect, but hey, it is what it is. Oh, 
Okay. That's what we know how. Okay, I'm going to just say fuck it. We're just going to leave that like that. And then I'm going to trim what I don't need. I need my good scissors. I don't even know where they at. I keep losing stuff. So that when I try to straighten up my house, that's when it's showing up to lose everything. That didn't cut with shit. Black scissors. This right here just making a mess. Yeah, it's just making a mess. It's gonna make my vine a little ugly. So I'm gonna have to wait and uh, I'm gonna just leave it regular like that until I can find me my good scissors. Damn air bubbles though. I don't know y'all. If you figure out a better way. Okay. Anyway, uh I got that on right quick. So I'm gonna find my image. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna press the uh laminate paper on top of this paper and we're gonna work it out. Y'all have a come back. Okay, you and the crew. Right about now, I'm over it. I was trying to design a picture, which I designed it in Cricut Design Space, which is um, an image of my auntie. So what I did was I designed it in Cricut Design Space, and then I sized it. I just drug it so I can get it to be pretty big. I don't know if you can see that or not. But after I did that, I screenshot it. And it still came out kind of too little. Like, my tag is still not going to be fitted, fitted. But I, at this point, I don't even give a damn. I just want to see. I practiced on this one first, which is some cardstock, because I wanted to see. And just a couple more inches would have been just perfect. But then the memory part would have been kind of cut off some. So that's why I tried to shrink it some. But I'm over it. So what I'm going to do is do what I can do. And we're just gonna make it do what it do. Let's just see what it do. Yeah. Okay. Um. I like I said, I designed the Cricut Design Space, and then I screenshot it. Now a lot of folks want to know how do I get the grid off. All you have to do is go to settings, right here, and then you'll see it. You can turn your grids on. You like right there. You see it. Put the grids back. I don't know if you can see that or not. Or you turn it off. And that's what I do. And I, I screenshot it to make the background remove. And then I just print it regular for my phone or laptop, tablet, whatever I'm doing. So what I'm going to do now is take y'all over to the heat press. And I'm going to press the laminated paper on top of the tag. And I ain't even got enough of that, y'all. It's, it's missing a little piece and everything. But you know your girl. I nigger it, so I piece it. I cut a little piece from that part there, and I put it over here. Hell, so that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna move you on over this way. Ain't much lighter, but I'm gonna try to get you some. Okay. So I cut a little piece off the top part of the laminated paper. I can have something to lay on top. So all I'm going to do is press the laminated paper on top. And we'll line that one up by it. Try to get it, you know, kind of even. Like I said, this is for my car. I just want to see what this work. Uh, if it don't, it is what it is. We're we'll on to the next. I, see a, I try to plaster one with some laminated paper. I'm going to figure it out, goddammit. Okay. I don't know how much better do it. Shay, you want to sleep? Because I'm on the record. I'll be coming for me. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put this under here like that. Trying to, like I said, try to line it up. Nothing perfect, nothing perfect. I don't try to be perfect. I just we want to know. Give me a little more paper. So I'm just gonna heat it up. Hopefully I'm messing nothing up and burn nothing up because you know your girl be just woo wee. Now flour already. I see a whole bunch of bubbles. So I don't know what that means. Okay, okay. We need a little elbow grease. That's all. We need a little elbow grease. So we're going to press it one more time again. Try to rub it again and see what it bubbles in it but hey we won't know unless we try right so I think I gotta let that cool for a little bit so that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna come back okay I got my print my image printed on there and it's not covering the whole thing like it's not covering it, but it is what it is. I'll figure that out some other time. I just want to see what this works. But the paper I'm using, I got off Amazon. It's sublimation paper. I will link that in the description below. And here we go. Fingers crossed, crew. I'm just trying to come out pretty because I done wasted a good tag. So I think I'm a, I think I should do it for like 60 seconds. I'm not for sure. I never did it before. I'm scared. I really don't know. So we're just gonna pray that it comes out right. Tool and peak. Get a little, little peak on. Oh wow, it's actually pretty. So I'm gonna take y'all back to the table. Reveal, let's get it. So like I should left down just a tad longer. No. Holy shit. Oh my god. Look at my beautiful aunt. <laughs> yes, hunty, I get it. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut that laminated paper in this uh Put your paper at the same damn time. I don't got what this is though. Shit. I was hoping that butcher paper would help me cut something right. I just don't feel like looking. Is that bad? I have no idea. It is hot still. My little impatient ass. Gonna burn my hands up trying to get it off there. Ooh. 
Ooh, I'm very proud of myself. Y'all cannot tell me that don't look good. Ah, they done fucked up and let me in. But, yes, hunty. I'm in a good mood. My cousin is getting buried next Saturday. So, that's going to be a bust, but we're going to be happy to go ahead and get this over with because the family have not been sleeping. Especially his mom and his sister him. It has really been hard on them. Once again, I appreciate everybody that has been a blessing to my family and to me. I don't even understand. I got to keep pushing. Okay. All right. Okay. Y'all already know your girl bootleg. So, got my Zecto knife, hunting. And I'm going to try to uh, put the hole in there. Like I said, y'all know it ain't got to be perfect. Here's my car. Yes. So, I'm excited to put it on there. I got to buy me some screws. So, I'll do that tomorrow. I always want to. Ooh. 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 Did you see it? I'm going to cut it up. Damn it, Josephina. It is what it is. So we didn't figure out they got them secret, didn't we, baby? Okay. So it was like a waste because I covered the metal one up. But, you know, your girl just knows it as hell, so I had to see. And uh, the plastic one, I know it would, like, bend up or something like that, but... It is what it is. Cutting a little excess. I'll find my other good scissors tomorrow. These right here bootleg. And then they buy cricket too. You know, cricket be tripping. What, what you got my phone for? So what do y'all guys think? What do y'all guys think? Did I do good or not? Nah? Anyway... I feel like if I wanted to get it top and bottom, I would have had to slice the image in half and just scratch it and print it on two different papers. But it is what it is. That came from when I had the elbow when I scraped. But hey, I ain't worried about it. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'll wait. Y'all have a blessing.